Hey, all you rebels out there. Welcome back to another episode of Crack Dice Gaming. I'm Chicky D here. I'm here to teach you how to pilot Han Solo effectively, how to be an effective pilot. Han Solo is, in my opinion, a very great leader. Maybe not tier one or S tier, but certainly has a unique angle on the meta. And there's some essential tips, three essential tips that I'm going to be going over in this video that will help you pilot Han Solo to victory. First, let me just uh, get some housekeeping things out of the way. I was listening back to the deck tech video on Han Solo Energy Conversion Lab, and I noticed that quite frequently throughout the video, I would use the the verbal pause of uh and um this this you know um 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 right, and that was pretty atrocious if I'm going to be completely honest. So I'm going to do my best in this video to not do that so much for your enjoyment and your the benefit of your ears. If you do want to go watch the deck tech video, I think it was a great deck tech video, putting that aside. So uh, go watch that if you want to. Secondly, if you want to see some individual matchups, how Han Solo is best suited to defeat individual heroes, things like Sabine, Boba, Aiden, Darth Vader, the the, the topper end heroes uh, in the meta, the, the S and E tier heroes, I can do that. Uh, let me know what, what heroes you'd want to see first in that. I think having played against doing tons of play testing and also playing in, in tournaments against some of the topper heroes i feel like i have quite a quite a good wheel well of knowledge of how han solo plays into those specific matchups and lastly we're doing crack dice games doing a giveaway a 100 subscribers giveaway thank you all for the the recent support we we do appreciate that go check out our giveaway video if you want to know how to enter so first let's talk about um, tip one. Tip one is avoid the blowout. If you're at a higher end tournament, they will most likely have open deck lists. You're going to want to study those deck lists to see what threats there are for Han Solo. And you're going to see these, these, four, these four specific cards on the screen that, that can be really punishing. First, Power of the Dark Side. You don't want to ramp into a Power of the Dark Side. You don't want to ramp up to seven or even like ramp up to five or whatever and, and drop a unit and then they just power the dark side. You don't want that to happen. That's that's pretty pretty standard practice. Power the dark side is played in pretty much every blue villain deck. And that's a card you're really going to want to not see punish you if you deploy, like if, especially if you deploy Han. You don't want to flip Han into an empty board against blue villain because there's a great chance he's going to get power the dark side. And then also cards like No Good to Me Dead in the 1K Vent Net and uh, at the Vintage Zone in Pennsylvania. I played against a Boba Fett and I, I got his deck list. Uh, first thing I went to was events, see if he's playing No Good to Me Dead. And he wasn't playing No Good to Me Dead. He wasn't even playing like Asteroid Sanctuary or anything that can exhaust my Han. So I knew as long as when I deployed Han that he had no way of becoming exhausted. I just had to worry about ECL. And speaking of ECL, look at ECL and the Steadfast Battalion. That's another thing you're going to have to watch out for. Every ECL deck, which is like a, you could, maybe even half of the decks out there in the meta, are going to be running Steadfast Battalion. <clears throat> and if their leader is out on the field, they will be able to just ECL their battalion and drop your Han and sack your Han. So, and then there's also things like Force Throw. Discard effects can be very punishing for Han Solo. So if you notice in their deck list, or if they're running red and they, you know, like a red shirt or an aggression shirt or a Darth Vader or a Palpatine, if they're running force units and whatnot, watch out for force throw. Even cards like Spark of the Rebellion and the Cunning Event also can be very punishing with their discard effects. So just watch out for discard effects. Don't don't ramp too much with Han. If you if you know they're playing discard, maybe play more traditionally and only use Han's ability on five to go to six. And don't use it like two, three, or four times uh, in the course of the, the early game because then you could just get punished. They could just force throw your U-Wing reinforcement out of your hand. And to go along with avoiding the blowout, I think depending on the deck you're playing against most decks, especially decks that are running these, these specific cards, which you see there's a green one, there's a red one, there's a yellow, and there's a blue one. So you're probably going to be facing them. You have to view Han Solo's seventh resource that when you deploy him and, and attack with him to go to seven, that's the, the most common play line. You have to view that, that resource as a luxury, not a guarantee. If you can get that seventh resource and play a unit Han or a U-Wing reinforcement, that's great. 
but you also need to have a backup plan, which, which we'll talk about later in the video. Uh, let's go to tip number two. Tip number two is manage your resources. There's five little sub tips that you need to know. I would say you need to know that will guide you to success. First, you can look at your resources at any time. That's a pretty, if, if you're a new player, that's something you can do. Your opponent cannot look at your resources at any time. You cannot look at theirs, obviously. So just keep that in mind that I, that's something you should do frequently. And just like pick up your resources, look at them. And just to make sure you know what you have there. Even if you're not playing Han Solo, that's a good thing to do anyway. Just to remind yourself of what's not going to be likely coming soon in your draw deck. If you have two of like a, a certain card in your resources, you're probably not going to see the third card. So just keep that in mind. Secondly, draw and resource before destroying your resources. If you do Han's ability, <clears throat> let's say turn one, you use Han's ability to resupply. So then you're you're entering the, the, the regroup phase with four in your pile. You What happens is you draw the cards, you draw the two off the top of your deck. Before you resort or before you're supposed to destroy your resources that you used with Han's ability, so draw your two cards, resource the one card from your hand that that you want to resource, and then destroy because it it say because what you want to do you want to set up things like home one in your discard pile. That's the that's the big thing you want to have. Um, yeah. See, look, tip number four: set up set up home one plays in your discard. You want to have a battlefield marine. You want to have a Leia and Ezra. And Akbar, if you're running Fleet Lieutenant, you want to get that into your discard pile very early, in case you need to, in case you get to, you're able to ramp up into Home One. So draw before you a resource, uh, draw and resource before you destroy. Uh, third tip: when playing Lando, spend what you pick up. So with Lando, what you can do when he picks up a resource or two, you can spend those resources to play the Lando, and then pick up the resources you just spent. So that way you have more resources available. Even if you don't have anything else to play, it still leaves the threat out. Because it could be the difference between you having two resources and three resources readied. And if you have three, your opponent could be watching out for a waylay. And if you only have two, then they know they don't have to play around waylay that turn. So that's that's just an, a nice little tip there. Uh, four, like I said, I uh, kind of already touched on it. Set up home on plays and discard. You want to get one of every of your three or less units in your discard, as well as like a four four drop if you're running, say, Ozatuck Liberator Gunship. That's that's pretty important because you want to have those options available. Like I said, you want to have Alea if you're running Akbar, you want to get Ezra, you want to get Marine. And just have all the different options in your discard pile. So when you destroy your resources, you want to destroy your cards that you can play with home one. And the fifth tip is keep your closers and your bombs in your resources to pick up with Lando. That's really important because once, say, change of heart or sneak attack, sneak attack's not necessarily a bomb, but it can be because, you, you know, you sneak attack, it's it's a closer. You want to keep those in your resources as well as things like home one reinforcement walker and U-wing reinforcement. That way, when you do go to pick up resources with Lando, you want to have a better top end there to help curve out your top end. As opposed to picking up a battlefield marine, you can pick up like a home one. That's that's pretty pretty simple tip there. Don't I think it's pretty, but don't just just don't make the mistake of having your your resources be like all events that are going to be irrelevant late game, as well as units that'll be irrelevant late game. So just be wary of keeping your bombs and your closers and your resources, and don't destroy them when you do Han's ability. And tip number three is deploy with both caution and backup. Like I said earlier, avoiding the blowout, that's done on the Han flip turn. Avoid the blowout when you deploy Han. And so to deploy with caution, obviously, that's a, that's a general tip for every leader. But with Han, you need to deploy with backup. If you are if you feel like you can pull off this the 7 drop play, where you deploy Han and attack and go to 7, and then drop a U-Wing or a Han solo unit, if you feel like you can, keep a 7 cost in your hand, but also keep something like Lando or Steadfast Battalion in your hand. Uh, as a backup plan because it would feel really bad if you just played nothing for the turn or if you just played like a two drop battlefield marine that, that's going to feel really bad and, and that's a, that's quite quite the blowout there and, and could end up losing you the game in set two and even in set three i'm really hoping they give us a good hero yellow six drop that's other than lando that has like lando's more late game and i'm gonna 
look to make a, a Lando video and why I think he's great. He's not the best unit to play on six, just straight up, just because the five health can be can be force choked force choked and take down, and even like a battalion can come in and just smack Lando pretty hard. So like a, like a, a nice six drop, maybe like a like a like a six six with with a, with a good wooden played ability or something like that would be great from set two, dear FFG. Give us another another even just another good six drop. And Battalion, uh, you'd be losing one resource, but Battalion, if you have your Han deployed, uh, if they put him on ice or something, instead of killing him, you can just play your Battalion and have a, a nice 5-5 five five with that on attack and overwhelm. So when you deploy Han, deploy with both Caution and Backup. Uh, again, that's also similar to avoiding the blowout. But how you avoid the blowout is by having Backup. You gotta have Backup. You gotta have the Garrison. So that that's that's very important. I, like I said, ideally you have one, as you can see on the slide, ideally you have one of Lando and Battalion, and then one of Han Solo and U-Wing Reinforcement. And that is the third tip. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see guides to individual matchups, like I said earlier, if you want to see how Han Solo is supposed to beat Sabine, uh, the cards you want to sideboard in for, say, Aiden or Vader, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, if this video does well, I'll probably just make those anyway and just ride the, the Han Solo train. That's carrying our channel right now. Just being candid, just being candid. Um, and enter the giveaway. Check out our most recent video, uh, other than this one, of course. And that uh, it's titled like Cracked Ice Gaming Giveaway or something like that. And, and go enter that. You know, win yourself some cool stuff. If you like Star Wars Destiny cards, if you're one of the OGs, uh, go check out that that giveaway. There's some the, some prizes there for you as well. And then make sure, I know I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this, but, but I've realized how important it is. They say like comment and subscribe if you would do that it would be great we would appreciate that that uh, very much and as always keep your blasters in your holsters and don't be a meta slave